Hello there guys, gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another easy 100% achievement guide, and this time we are getting it all in the very cutesy Fruit Adventure. Now this was developed by JM NATO, published by JM NATO Game Dev, who's venturing into publishing on his own for the very first time, so good luck to him. Uh, it is available as well for just £4.19 slash $4.99. So we play as Killian Strawberry Mbappe, cute little strawberry red right here, um, as we go platforming, etc, etc. Now, at the time of recording, there was actually a title update, um, which you won't see me get the full 2000 in this, but basically, um, originally the achievements were just for completing all 30 levels. Now you've got to kill up to 25 enemies for two achievements, collect up to 300 stars for three achievements, die 10 times, and uh, find a hidden portal, which we will get in the second level. So you will, um, again, just as long as you kill, you've got to go through all 30 levels anyway, so just go through them, killing everyone that you can see, collecting all the stars that you can see, and you may die 10 times, but that's about it. But I will show you where the second hidden portal is. By the way, um, it's highly advised to um, do this all in one game, um, or sort of one playthrough, because twice I had to start from the very beginning when I uh, disappeared off it. So just doing that then. So if you did play um, the Rabbit Crazy Adventures, the same sort of thing. We've got to collect stars. We've got to collect keys in order to um, open up the uh, way at the end. So uh, this is where the second hidden portal is then, or the first hidden portal. Instead of jumping over the gap, what you're going to do is drop and hug the left wall. This is where the hidden portal is. And this is where you're going to get the achievement. So again, very quick title update. Um, it kind of caught me by surprise <laughs> with this one. Um, but that is, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, like I said, you just need to go through all of the 30 levels. Again, remember to die 10 times. Hit every enemy that you can see. Because unlike, um, obviously, in the Rabbit Crazy Adventure, we've got muffins to hit this time rather than moldy old potatoes. Um, so, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So, again, follow it. Each level is exactly the same, so you can just follow along with nay problems, with nay issues, if you so wish to. Um, but yeah, that's it. So collect all the stars you can see, get up to 300, jump on at least 25 enemies' heads, oosh, right in the nugget. And uh, yeah, that is uh, Golden Dandy as Apple Candy, or something. So a couple of new enemies then to deal with in this one. Um, so basically, it's a hell of a waste of chocolate bars. But you see the chocolate bars at the top? Don't be standing around too long because um, as soon as you interact it, it'll try and shoot you down. What a waste of chocolate. God damn it. There's also flying pears. Now, I would really enjoy a flying pear right about now. Um, so yeah, flying pies in the game as well. So, I mean, if you like strawberries, that's all good. But give me a, a flying pie and a walking muffin any day of the week. Thank you very much. Top up my little muffin top, as it were. So, jump to the right, jump up, and then tr you can try and eat the chocolate if you want. I mean, look at that. It's such a waste. Four beautiful chocolate bars. Ugh. Die Gustin. So, remember, of course, watch out for the spikes. As I said, they will kill you in one hit. Um, and obviously it's the same sort of enemies um, for the majority of the game now.
So it is something just a little bit different going to happen here then. Now obviously, as you know, you'll get it about a second or two before it falls, but you can actually just jump up and um, sort of walk on the same path. So you'll never actually, you can't actually fall as long as you're going up. Uh, the key is, go re there is some chocolate bars here as well, so just be very wary of them. Uh, so get down and then you can just continue to jump on through but the key is just underneath us here So grab that and then jump up and then you are golden as a chicken nougat So you just need to be careful on this next part then, so you need to avoid the spikes and quickly get ahead or before the chocolate bars kill you dead, then you can grab the key and continue lovingly. So levels are going to be a bit different um, in terms of the chocolate bars that want you dead for some reason. Just a cute little fruit, bro. Anyway, so once you've jumped over this muffin, now a lot of times it's going to look obvious where you think I'll just dive straight through. Not always going to be the case though from sort of here on out for the last 10, 11 levels. So jump across. This one is fine, but then just gently go underneath, wait until it uh, goes and then you can jump over it. That's going to be happening a lot. So just be very wary of the new chocolate bars that still want you to be squished like strawberry berry jam. And of course, try and jump on the muffins, not the spikes. That will always come in handy to evade your death.
And this is going to be one of those levels in terms of chocolat. So we're going to jump across, lovely. Now, for this part, what you need to do then is just quickly get that chocolate bar. Well, say quickly, just get that chocolate bar down and then just keep doing the same thing. Just wait until it drops down and jump across. So again, time to be careful right here. So what you need to do is go underneath the chalk, drop him down, jump on this one, grab the next one down, grab the next one down, and then you can just go ahead and make a break for it. And you should be fine from here on in.
So on to the final level then. Uh, this one, for some reason, this just took me like 10 to 15 minutes to complete in its own. It's not that bad, honestly. So we'll just jump straight for this one then. We'll get this chocolate bar down and then jump onto the next one. Jump onto the next moving platform. Obviously, you know, try to avoid uh, try to avoid the nice slice point. And then grab the next chocolate down. And then just keep doing this for a couple. So I really don't know why I struggled so much with this level. It's really not that bad. Um, obviously, jump up, kill the muffins if you want, and kill the pear. So it was this part, for whatever reason, that I was struggling with. So all we'll do is grab this chocolate bar down first. Then we're going to do it with the next one. Then with the next one. So grab it down. And then you can make a break for it. And then try to avoid the spikes. And just continue on forward. And then there we are. Now we're coming up to the end of the level. But this can be a little bit tricky. I, I uh, honestly messed up twice here. So there's going to be a little death bridge at the top. Try not to use all of the death bridges here. Because we need the key at the bottom. So just try and jump. Yeah, just try and do exactly what I've done right there. It's not over yet though. We've still got a couple of spikes to contend with at the bottom. So just make sure to jump straight in the middle. And there we go. So that is going to be the end of the fruitiest of adventurers. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Um, I hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope you enjoyed the guide, and that it helped as well. And if it did, of course, don't forget to uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and um, YouTube members. So thank you so, so much for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Big love!